This is what I've been shooting, the AEA Element Max. Mine's in 50 cal. It's available in 45, 50, 510, and 58 caliber. Now on the website, they say this is doing about 450 foot-pounds in 50 caliber, but you'll see in the crony section later on that I'm able to crank over 540 foot-pounds out of this guy. Super powerful, super lightweight. Without the scope on it, it's coming in at just barely over five pounds, and we've got this foldable stock. So you can see we've got a great setup for a truck gun or backpack gun, plenty of power to be a hog gun or deer or whatever you're after. And I'm excited to show you guys more. Let's check it out. The AEA Element Max 50 cal here today for review. Let's get it started. Frying pan here. Actually there's a layer of like frozen ice inside of it this morning. almost went through i mean it smashed it out pretty dang good right there made a really good dent in it found the slug right there pretty cool all right now we got the silhouette over here 20 yards or so gonna smack that guy a couple times see how hard he rocks show you the loading process on this guy here another couple times just because it is so different open that up put the slug in you got to really make sure that you seat the slug all the way in and sometimes depending on the slug you're using they can fit pretty dang tight pull that back safety off hammer back now you're ready to shoot Dead on, right where I wanted to hit. We got one more shot on this fill, so let's go ahead and finish it off here. We got flat nose, 210 grainer. Dang, that is so freaking awesome, you guys. The AEA Element Max has got some serious smack. Wow. One feet a second. Wow. Eight ninety one. Eight. 89. Ah, and that one did drop a little bit lower. So three, four-ish shots, 831. All right, let's try a few of these. 336 grain Mondos. Seven sixty nine. Wow. All right. So here's what happened for us at fifty yards. You can see that with those Nielsen hollow points, we had all three of the first, you know, shots just go right there just pretty much stacking at 50 yards. I mean, those are easy kill shots. And then that fourth shot did fall just a little bit low. So this is really gonna be a three shot gun with that sort of a weight of pellet. And then over here, I'm gonna have to watch that footage back. I don't think that I stacked that one. I think that third shot went somewhere, who knows where. All right, so you can see watching the slow motion footage back here, that pellet actually tracks exactly into the group of the first two. Watch this, hard to slow it down just perfectly, but man, it hit exactly in that spot of the first two shots, wow. Wow, almost straight still. Even 
going out to 75. Wow. That one hit the green. And that one hit at the bottom of the green. So that's what you're gonna get with that shot curve once you stretch it out to 75 yards. 50 yards, they're all pretty much same, same impact point, but 75 yards, you can definitely see the shot curve. First shot's high, second shot, right where I thought it was gonna hit. Third shot, just at the bottom of that green patch. Let's go get a little closer look so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, so coming out here to 75 yards, you can see that we had first shot go a little higher than I anticipated. I was trying to put it right here on the green dot and it actually hit pretty much right at the crosshairs of the scope. Second shot, that one went right where I was anticipating and the third shot fell just a little bit lower than that. So call that a little more than a four inch spread there between first and last. So practice with the thing and you're gonna know where you're hitting and you can still definitely use that for hunting even out to 75 yards. There's the AEA Element Max in 50 cal. That's what I've been shooting. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here today. If you like this video, definitely make sure you check this one out right up here. More AEA goodies. I'll see you guys over there.